When you hear the word casual, you may be reminded of the meme of the gamer dad with six wives and 47 children with 17 jobs that only has 15 minutes to play his video game a week. Well, I don't really fit into that category, but I am a casual gamer because the hardcore people said so. I was reminded by an achievement on Discord that I played 70 hours of the War Within on launch week. Does that give me the hardcore cred badge or do I have to down plus 10 mythic bosses every 30 minutes? I think I'm perfectly okay with being a filthy casual at this point. And you know what? I think Blizzard is okay with it too. I think they're finally starting to realize that there are people out there who want to play the game in less of a group fashion who still want to do challenging content. And actually in the War Within, they've brought us some of that. Welcome to the Wraith YouTube channel. My name is Deke, and today I want to talk about my impressions of The War Within. And my perspective is one that I think is not so niche anymore, and it is the perspective of a hardcore casual. World of Warcraft is 20 years old now, and they just released their 10th expansion, The War Within. It's been extremely hyped up, and with the return of Chris Metzen, I'll say that I kind of gave in a little bit to that hype, and it did make me want to come back to the game. Having said that, I usually do dip in at the beginning of every expansion just to see the new content, level up a character, and do some of the in-game activities in the first month or so, and then I usually fall off. Well, we've reached that month period that the game has been out now. And my question is, is The War Within good enough of a game to hold my interest longer than this first month cycle? Two of this x -Pack's features, Warbands and Delves, are already proving to be something that I do think is retaining my attention a little bit more. And I also think that these features are more in line with the solo, casual player. Warbands allowing us to have progression across our entire account is totally game-changing for World of Warcraft. Now, your currencies, your reputations, and even gear in some cases are all shared between every character on your account. This really makes it fun to play alts because you're not losing your place in your journey, right? So if you're playing your main character and you're trying to like max out your renown on all of the different factions, now if you're bored playing one character or one class, you can jump over to another class and keep earning renown on that character. This is a really cool feature and it is something that has gotten me to level a lot more characters. I would say typically within the first three weeks of a WoW expansion launch, I would level no more than two characters. My main character is my main focus and then I might play one alt just to kind of have some fun and just feel out a new spec or class. Within the first two weeks of the War Within launch, I'd already leveled five characters and the reason I did this is because I was able to seamlessly swap between them with a shared pool of quests. So I was able to do different zones on different characters and then get all of my achievements and questing done across all the different characters that I wanted to play. Now I will say that it is kind of overwhelming if I were to try to keep up with all of those characters, which I've quickly decided that I'm not going to do. And I say overwhelming because on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis, there are just so many things to complete in the game. It's actually pretty cool that all this stuff exists. I think mainly you just have to set your own boundaries in terms of the amount of time you want to spend playing. I will say that the flip side of this coin is that the game is a little bit daunting to get into as a new player. I have some people that are on my Discord server and we found that starting WoW as a new player can be confusing and daunting and there's just so much stuff to try to learn. But the game is very difficult to start fresh. It's almost like crummy time should be a thing that we see when we start a new account immediately. You make your character, you log in, a crummy time system pops up and you choose the expansion and you go straight into it instead of having to go through a bunch of other things to get the Stormwind to then go find Chromie and then start that process. I think just start it from level one. I think one thing that is undeniable is how insanely good World of Warcraft looks 20 years later. They have done so many good system updates, the way the world looks and feels, the music, the sound effects, everything about this game is extremely immersive and attractive. The addition of dragon riding in all of the zones, which they now call sky riding, is another amazing feature that really does make the world more immersive. Dynamic flight is much more active and gives players control and agency. They're even incorporating this into some dungeons now, which is pretty cool. Now that Chris Metzen's back in charge of story, is the story actually better? I think it's hard to say right now. We're heading into this trilogy that they're calling the World Soul Saga, the War Within being the first part of that trilogy, and it's really hard to tell if his influence has actually taken shape yet or not. I will say from my personal experience, I've been much less inclined to go relive the campaign story of this expansion. While I did enjoy it a lot on the first playthrough, and I do think that there were some great moments and some interesting character developments, I actually preferred a lot more of the local stories to the main campaign quest. And I actually found Thrall and Jaina to be tag-along characters in this story that really didn't need to be there. 
I do like seeing Anduin's story continued, but I actually did like Shadowlands and I liked the story development in Shadowlands. I know that's controversial, but for me, I thought it was pretty cool. I really like that WoW is moving away from the daily system. So now things are spawning every three days, you have more weeklies. There's still a lot of stuff to do, but it doesn't feel like you have to do absolutely everything. A lot of the world quests have a shared reputation with your entire warband, meaning that you can do those quests on some of your characters and not others. This really makes it feel a lot better. I really didn't like the game when I felt like I had to be logged in at all times, constantly doing something or I was going to fall behind. Another feature in the War Within are hero talents, and these are really just thematic additions to each spec in the game. And man, these are really cool. They just have a vibe to them that they just feel like they belong in the game, like they've always been there and they always belonged. Another thing that's really cool about hero talents is if you just pick a class and play it and just pick a random hero talent spec, you're going to find something surprising in there as you level up. I did this with Death Knight and finding out that I could just be mounted in combat in the open world at all times. Wow, that is really cool. Great game design makes the game fun. Other than the fact that using Crest to level up your gear gets a little bit complicated, it is cool that we have these systems in the game to continue progression in the end game pretty much no matter how you play the game. I am someone who really likes open world PvP and war mode in this game is really cool. I'm glad that we have the feature to turn it off if you don't want to participate. I really think people should actually be playing on war mode because you get more experience, more rewards, you get access to currencies that allow you to buy equipment from the PvP vendors, and you also get access to additional world quests that appear in all the zones where you get more reputation and currencies to buy gear. The big winner of this expansion for me though are Delves. Delves are definitely content that were made for a player just like me. They definitely serve the casual audience in a way, but they also offer really challenging in-game content for solo players. You can also do these in groups. Honestly, I think they should be restricted to solo play because we have other content for groups, but as of right now, you can still play them in groups. I definitely prefer playing them solo, and for me, they have exceeded expectations. I knew that I was going to engage with Delves even when I was looking at the content before the expansion launched, but having played through them a lot now, I've really gotten hooked on the idea of being a completionist for Delves. So right now I'm on a journey to finish all Delves on tier 11, which I'm pretty close to finishing. And I've been making tons of guides and walkthroughs for Delves, which you can check out here on the Wraith RPG YouTube channel. Overall, I think your state of mind when you start an expansion has a lot to do with your impression of it as you're playing through it. Mine has been pretty positive generally. I knew that I wanted to give it a try and I've been just kind of rolling with the punches. There have been bugs, there have been little things that need to be fixed, there have been balance changes. But overall, I think they've done a good job of creating content that is fun and engaging for the solo, hardcore, casual player like myself. I'm really happy about this, and I'm actually optimistic that I may still be playing in a couple months when the new tier two sets and the reworks for classic time walking come out. If you're still watching the video, will you do me a favor and please just hit like on this video and also go subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to grow the channel and it would be awesome if you guys would help me out with that. Overall, I think the War Within is a win, and I guess I'm just gonna keep on playing. So I'll see you guys in the next video, later.